Um, can we do 36? Okay. Come on, what's your analysis here? Um, isn't it where the um, acid and the base are equal? Uh, that's the best buffer. Like, the, the, like not equal, but the molarity is equal. Mm -hmm. But all of them are equal. Well, it has the highest molarity here. The biggest molarity. The best. Just follow, okay, they're both they're both strong. Okay, no, they're not. I like one. The base is strong. Okay, I don't remember. What, okay, just go. I. I yeah, okay. yeah. Well, I know the best buffer is like either a weak acid and then a strong conjugate. A wait. strong base. Okay. So wait, the KOH is. Either a weak acid, strong conjugate base. Yeah, so we better go through this. Okay. Or is it a weak base and a strong conjugate? Yeah. Well, we might have to talk about that. So actually, both of those are incorrect. So Isn't it actually, didn't we go through the, the different cases for an acid last time? I give you the acid base handout. We mentioned which yeah. case was the buffer case. Which is the uh, buffer case? Oh, uh, yeah, hold on. From our handout on acids and bases, which case did we say was the buffer? Um, um, I'll tell you right now. The buffer one is weak acid and weak conjugate base. So nothing strong. Okay. And the tax, oh yeah. Remember that we um, had a big long detour yeah. where I tried to explain how weak acid, how absolutely weak acids always have absolutely weak conjugate bases? Yeah. Okay. Well, we had to explain that to explain, uh, to explain buffers. Okay. So it's, it's either, you have a best buffer when it's either a weak acid or a weak base, don't you? Well, a buffer is when we have a weak acid and that and their conjugate and its conjugate, which is identical to saying that you have a weak base and its conjugate. Yeah. So it's either when weak equals half of any strong, when weak and conjugate are in similar amount, when pH equals pH well, plus or minus one, or when um, is that from like your tutoring notes or something? Yeah. So, well, those are probably true. Um, although, well, if you, so if you want, you just try to memorize those. But it's when you have um, both a weak acid and its weak conjugate base. Okay. Uh, also, uh, it also has to do with molarity, though. Like the higher the molarity, the better. Like the greater the molarity is, the better. Um, the more buffer capacity you have. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so the buffer will be overwhelmed pretty quickly if you only have a little amount. The point here is that the weak acid and the weak conjugate um, are both sponges. Um, a buffer gives you both, uh, so a buffer can, is when you have both a weak acid and its conjugate. That's why you eliminated antiparsis A and B because A and B are the only cases where you have a weak acid and a weak and a conjugate base. Yeah, that's why you narrow it down to those two yeah, choices. So, so you wouldn't think that you're doing it with ni nitric acid. Yeah, okay. that's what I'm with. It's like the only, the only two antiparsis in 30, 36 uh -huh. that have a weak acid and its conjugate base are A and B. How do we know? How do we know nitric acid and sodium, or nitric acid and potassium, or acetic and ammonia? How do you know what? Nitric acid and sodium nitrate aren't. They're not conjugated. How do you know? Because they have different chemical formulas. Uh, nitric acid and who? Nitric acid and so nitric acid and sodium nitrate. Yeah, those are conjugates. Oh, then no, 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 no. So you need to memorize the seven strong acids. I know that some instructors put the strong acids on the front of the test, but it looks like you guys aren't doing the strong acids on the front. So you're expected to memorize the seven strong acids. Do you guys remember any strong acids? Uh, KOA, oh, I'm sorry, HCl. Um, That's it? I have a list of them from somewhere. Okay. Hydrochloric, hydrobromic, hydriodic, sulfuric. Oh, yeah, HI. Nitric, perchloric, and chloric. These are the seven common strong acids. So if something is not in this list, it's probably not a strong acid. And then the strong bases are KOH. H anything with OH. Yeah. Well, anything with OH and a first uh, column element. So the common strong bases are, those are less important to memorize, but the common strong bases are potassium hydroxide, and sodium hydroxide. Mm -hmm. If there's some other strong bases your instructor told you to know, but those are the ones that are most important. Okay. So in this case, they gave us um, nitric acid. So nitric how do we know that choice C is wrong? Uh, because it's, uh, it's, a strong, it's a strong acid. And it's conjugate. Well, we're not supposed to be making this out of a strong acid and it's conjugate. We're supposed to be making this out of uh, a weak acid and it's conjugate. A weak okay. acid, okay. Yeah, okay. a buffer. Um, Wait, nitric acid strong? Yeah. H H H H H H H H H H 
Yeah. So you also need to know the names for these, I guess. Hydrochloric, hydrobromic, hydroiodic, sulfuric, nitric, perchloric, and chloric acids. Okay. We, but, oh, okay, never mind. So what I should say is a buffer, the, a buffer system consists of a weak acid and its conjugate, which will also be a weak base, as we explained last time. Okay, so that would narrow it down to A and B. Mm -hmm. And the one with the highest molarity has, has the best buffer capacity. Yeah. It is not going to be used up as quickly. 